The first question is, what is the specific goals of the speech project? Or why was it included in our course? Think in terms of the goals of the speech project. I think the goals of the speech project were to get, get us introduced into speeches. You're going to give a lot of informative speeches throughout your life. It's probably one of the main speeches that is given. So it's a good basis and it's a good way to start out. And it was an, a PowerPoint form so it wasn't so nerve-wracking as giving a direct speech in front of everyone. How did I feel going into this speech presentation and why? I felt pretty prepared. Doing the outline really helped me prepare myself for the speech and helped me to know what I was going to say and know what I wanted to say and compare the two and it helped me because I'm really bad at organizing my information and when I had the outline it made me organize my information so that helped. Um, did I s experience speaker anxiety? Why? And what could you do to reduce speaker anxiety next time you give a presentation? I didn't experience speaker anxiety because I actually gave my speech through several times before I actually ended up recording it, which actually helped a lot. Was my technology adequately prepared? What could I have done differently or better? My technology was adequately prepared. I had issues with my microphone for the first time I gave the PowerPoint presentation, so when I gave it the second time I was prepared for that and I had a microphone and... I think my PowerPoint ended up looking really nicely and sounding pretty good too. In terms of structure and organization, what elements felt natural to me and what felt odd and why? What felt natural to me was the introduction and the conclusion because every good speech needs an introduction and a conclusion and an introduction is a good way to introduce yourself and get ready to give a speech without having to just blow them out of the water quite yet. You can just kind of give them a little bit of background information. Um, what felt odd to me was repeating my mini thesis as many times as you had to. It makes sense why you would, but it, I guess I've never done that in the speech, so it was a little bit different for me. How did I consider my audience when developing my speech? I figured that my audience would be the general public, so I ended up giving some background information before full-blown just giving my speech, which would help because if you didn't have any of the background information, you wouldn't quite know what I was talking about. So the general public was my audience. How, what did I do in my speech that worked? What didn't work and what areas can you target for improvement? An area I could improve is the amount of time. I ended up writing way too much for my speech and it ended up being a lot longer than necessary. So next time I think I will work on reading it through before a little bit more and timing it so I know that it's not going to go over the time limit and I won't have to re-record it several times. Um, in at least four to five complete sentences, connect what you learned. Connect your learned experiences to the class readings and concepts. Um, some of the major things that helped me were the speech anxiety. Um, I, since I had read that, I actually read my speech through several times, which I said before. Um, and the topic selection helped a lot because it helped me choose a topic that I wouldn't have thought about before. And then on page um, 64, the five steps, the five characteristics of information literacy helped me because um, it helped me with my research because I knew what I wanted, what information I wanted in my speech, what, how to get that information, um, how to create new knowledge and to be accountable for my use of information.